All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to another Warp Brain video, guys. So this is gonna be our last versus for a while, until we get, of course, the next prime. So obviously, guys, this is gonna be our last versus. So that means I got the last prime, guys. So I mentioned in the last video that I was um, starting to try to get him, but I didn't immediately get him like right after that one. So I kind of have to wait it a little bit. Um, but I did finally get him, guys, as you can see. So, today, we are doing our next, our final verses for a bit. <laughs> I think it's three months when the next, um, Prime comes out. But, this is Ignaris Prime, guys. So, um, Ignaris is literally the Egyptian pharaoh, mommy, whatever you want to call him, Warframe. And, um, he is very unique, that's for sure. He's one of the more unique ones. Alongside, like, Titiana and all of them. So, he's just uniquely inspired and everything like that. That's what I'm trying to say. But, um, yeah. So, like I said, he is the kind of pharaoh, Egyptian, I don't know, whatever you guys want to call him. I like to call him kind of, he's like, a pharaoh-inspired, sort of, mummy-inspired, Egyptian-inspired. But, um, he is a really unique frame, so, um, first thing you guys will probably notice is that he has no shield. This is very true for him. He has no shield at all. He has no shield. And, um, that's totally fine, actually. So, <laughs> you'd be surprised to know that I actually don't get, um, attacked as much just because he doesn't have shield. But, um... So to that, I do highly suggest if, if you guys have an RS that you uh, increase his armor a lot and you also increase his health a lot because that's what you need to survive, literally. So <laughs> so yeah, make sure you do that, guys. That's my biggest tip for you for an RS. Um, and to that, let's get started, guys. So I'm going to go hop into my arsenal here. So, this is my Anaris Prime, guys. This is, um, his, it's half his deluxe skin, and then the other half is a Tenogen. His Chen, the helmet is a Tenogen helmet, that's what I meant to say. Um, and I really, I preferred how he looked like this. He preferred, he looks a little better with the skin on, is what I'm trying to say. Um, his regular skin's fine, but it's not, it's not my favorite, so. <laughs> I had to change that, obviously. But, um... Yeah, so that is the Tenogen helmet, guys, on my Anars Prime, and this is his deluxe skin on the bottom here. You'll see his actual deluxe skin, like the full deluxe skin, is on my regular one. So you guys will see that in a bit here, but yeah. So this is what my Anars Prime looks like. He is golden, obviously. He's a golden boy. <laughs> and I chose a maroony, pinky, red for his second color. I was kind of trying to go for both of my Anaruses. I was trying to pick um, colors that the Egyptians used to use. Um, that we've seen like in their um, hieroglyphs and stuff. So I was kind of inspired by that to pick some colors for him. So that's what you guys will probably notice the most. So, <laughs> Alright. Alrighty. Oh, sorry, I should uh, go over the abilities. <laughs> I totally bomb, forgot that. All right, so his abilities, obviously, on the right-hand side are um, Desecration, Devour, Sandstorm, and Scarab Swarm. So, Scarab Swarm, I hardly actually, this is one of the frames I hardly actually use his final ability on um, because it is kind of complicated to use. You also need someone to pick you up, I think, I believe, because you technically kill yourself. Let me take a look. Charge to transform health into hardened scab armor. Discharge to blast enemies with a scab swarm. Survivors have their health drained and bestowed on allies. So it is a definitely a support ability, that's for sure. Um, and a lot of these abilities are for his own good, but they do, they can help, um, like that last one can help his allies, so. He's definitely kind of a more me frame, this is about me frame, 
And and that's big part of that is because he only has health, like I mentioned earlier. He doesn't have a shield. He has armor, he has health, and he has energy. That's all he has. He has no shield. So, and he's the only frame, as far as I know, that does this. So, that's a big thing to know, guys, with him. <laughs> so, alrighty. Now, like I just mentioned, I hardly use his final ability, but I am more than happy to show it to you guys. <clears throat> Alright, so we're gonna clear these guys. I think we're gonna pick the Desert Grenier. The Arid Grenier is what they're called. Because that seems more appro most appropriate for him. Alright. Then, let's go! Alright, first ability, guys, is Desecrate. And this ability, I like to use this ability a lot. As you guys can see, I just pretty much throw my sand up in their faces and blind them. And it does hurt them. So, that ability is just fun to use. Because <laughs> it's just a good, um, stunning ability. Because, it, it, you know, if you got sand in your eyes, you'd probably be like, ah, I can't see. So, <laughs> makes total sense. And as you guys can see, it can slowly, it slowly eats away at their health. Once you activate it. But that ability is always just fun to use. Because you guys can see the effect it does. It's just fun to use. And then, we have Devour next, I believe. Which we actually need an enemy for. I think I killed them all. <laughs> My sand is too deadly. My blinded sand. <laughs> but if we can get one of the enemies by themselves, that ability will work the best. So yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to respawn them because we killed them all with our sand. Our sand is deadly. <laughs> our sand. All right. Give me. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I want all those guys again. Alrighty, guys. Let's try this again. Alright. So we're gonna blind them real quick. Oh, that was the wrong ability. Oh, there's Sandstorm. Sorry, guys. I'm, like, using my wrong abilities. But as you guys can see, it's a legit Sandstorm. We just become a big, giant Sandstorm. Which is always fun. This is, fun. This is my favorite ability of his, I think. Just because I can just gather people and just, like... Phew fly them all over the place. They fling all over. So you guys are like, seeing abilities I didn't mean to use, but... Okay, this guy's by himself, so we're gonna use Devour on him. Oh, shoot. We don't have any energy. Hold on, guys. Let's grab some more energy. Okay. Yeah, so this guy's by himself. We're gonna use the power on him. And it's literally what it means! We devour our enemy, and then there's just a sand... buddy, sand... body left of them. And this... they become our ally, the sand... person. The sand form it creates. So that is a good ability to use if you're in a... Um... An issue or something. That's a good ability to use. Um, it's the best ability to gain his health back. So you guys should know that. So devour. If you can get an enemy by yourself, by itself, and then use devour on it, you'll regain your health when you're eating them. So that's literally what it's meant for. So as you guys can see, I'll do it again. And my health went up. As you guys can see, and I had temporarily locked on me. So I wouldn't get hurt while I was doing it. As you guys can see, he's, her he's helping us now. And then he just slowly dies. So that gives you another ally, so that ability is awesome for that. And like I said, it's very important that you use it when your uh, health is getting low, because that is the easiest way to regain your health. Alright, I think we got all of them again. Let's take a peek around, double check. 
been trying not to use my gun just because my gun is a little OP. <laughs> but so is my staff, so you know. Alright. Let's regain all our stuff. I already kind of showed you guys Sandstorm, but it's really obvious once you guys know the titles of them. It's just like, uh, yep, I know exactly what it does. But we're gonna do it again just for fun. It's fun. So here's Sandstorm for you guys. I create a big giant Sandstorm with myself. But as you guys can see, I am not immortal. I still can get hurt while I'm in this form, this ability, I'm using it. But it does take out a lot of your enemies, as you guys can see. It slowly, slowly kills them. And it throws them around pretty good, so they get kind of some whack whiplash. <laughs> so that ability, that's my favorite ability of his, for sure. I love using that ability with him. Okay, we're gonna have to use Devour, as you guys can see, our health is getting low. So we'll devour this guy. Got some health, which is good. Alright, we're gonna use our final ability now, which is Scab, um... Swarm? Swarm? Scab? Swarm, I think it was called? But it gives you Scab armor. But we'll use it on this guy. So you have to hold it again. But as you guys can see, it does eat your armor. It does eat your health really fast. So that's another reason why I don't like using his final ability. But as you guys can see, it creates these little flying around scab guys for you. They're kind of extra protection for you. It's essentially what they are. And um, I believe over time when you're attacked, it'll go down, obviously. But as you guys can see, it ate a lot of my health away. So, his final ability is risky to use if you guys aren't quite sure how to like use his devour or anything. Um, so, this is why I don't really use it much. Um, it used to be... I think they just recently changed his ability actually now that I think about it. Um, it used to be like we would kill ourselves and then our teammates would have to resurrect us or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. It might just be me thinking of his revival. His revival is really cool, guys, when you die. Um, he actually goes into a coffin or a sarcophagus. And then your allies have to uh, revive the sarcophagus. It's really cool. But um, he's the only frame also that does that as well. So his revival is very unique. But I think once it's activated at this point, then um, the scabs can attack your enemies. You can tell them to attack your enemies, so you kind of have to just target them, and then there you go. But um, yeah, there you go, guys. There is the lowdown on the Sand Master, Pharaoh, Mummy, whatever you want, guys want to call him. I'm serious. He's got a few names he's considered as, so. I mean, it just depends on you what you want to call him, but anyways. Anyways, I'm going to pull out my regular one now. And here he is. All right. And you guys know how I am. I have to make sure all my colors are right. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is my regular Naris. Um, as you guys can see, I have a cool effect on him. Um, or, um, whatchamacallit, um, I don't remember what they're called. Infinitas? Infinitas? Something weird. It's called something weird, but, um, like he's got a cool effect on him. Um, Hoofin was like, that kind of looks like Naris to me. So like, okay, I'll add it to Naris, and this is what it end up looking like. So it's really cool. Um... Yeah, so this is what his deluxe skin, his full deluxe skin looks like, guys. Um, as you guys can see, I went for, um, 
uh, King Tut color. So if you guys know who King Tut is, he's probably the most famous pharaoh of all of Egypt. And um, he's very well known. And um, his mask, his mask is very famous um, that his mummy was buried with. And it had like kind of blue and gold and stuff on it. So that's kind of what I went with with um, this Anaris. <laughs> so that's kind of what I was going for. Kind of like King Tut Pharaoh colors. Because I felt that looks the best on him. Which it does. It looks really cool. Um, and this blue is actually a very unique blue. It actually looks really black. But it's blue. Which is kind of weird. But it works. So... <laughs> Yeah, so as you guys can see, he's highly, highly jackal-like, his deluxe skin. So, that's kind of what they were going for. They're kind of going for pharaoh, jackal-type look for him, so. But this has to be one of my favorite colors for my deluxe skins I have. I have not changed him since I've made him these colors. So, this is one of very few of my deluxe skin colors I've stuck with. So... I'm very happy with it. <laughs> Alright guys, let's do the same thing. We're gonna see if there's any differences, which at this point we highly doubt, but we still will see for fun. So as you guys can see, sand is the same, it blinds them. And then we have Devour. Devour is pretty much the same as well, and it makes us our little sand buddy here. And like I mentioned before, guys, use Devour to get your health up if it needs some, if you need more health. That is how you get your health up the fastest, so. So use Devour to your advantage, is what I'm saying. As you guys can see, I did it there. And then we'll use our uh, sand here on this guy. And as you guys can see, it's slowly killing him. We'll put him out of his misery just because we're nice. <laughs> So we got all the enemies. I showed you the Desecrate and I showed you Devour. They're pretty much the same, just like we'd expect. Okay, I'm not sure why I went back in there, I just did. <laughs> all right, so we gotta simulate again. And then we're gonna use our sand real quick. And then we're gonna use our sandstorm. Let's go. And as you guys can see, it's pretty much the same. Pretty similar. It sucks in enemies, it throws them about, and slowly kills them. one more enemy, maybe. I might be wrong. There he is. He's over here. Let's use our scab armor real quick. Let's stand here, eat some of our health. And I think at a certain point... There we go. See, the scabs are attacking him. So when I get too close, they start attacking him. Yeah, see? It burns him too. <laughs> So it's pretty much kind of like a plague in a way. It's scab armor. So when you get close to an enemy, they're just like, ah! <laughs> they just start attacking them. So, yeah. So it pretty much is the same as we expected. They're flying around pretty much the same way and everything. The sand looks the same. Acts the same. It's kind of a bummer we don't keep our um, piles of sand on the ground, though. It disappears, but... <laughs> 
But anyways, guys, there you have it. There is a Naros. So, um, like I mentioned earlier, guys, this is probably going to be the last versus for a while. Because this is our current Prime. Um, I finally caught up, which is crazy. And I appreciate all of you enjoying this series. I see a lot of you are enjoying it. You're loving it. Which I am so glad for. Um, I'm more than happy to do more and bring it back when the new Prime comes out. But as of this time, we have no more to do, guys. So, <laughs> sorry to say. But there you guys have it. There is a Naris for you guys. And um, the next Prime, me and Hooven were always guessing who the next Prime's going to be. And we're thinking it's going to be Nidus or... Um, Neza, maybe. We'll see. It's gonna be one of them, though. We know that. Um, most of us, most of us are thinking it's gonna be Nidus. So, he's gonna be interesting to see when he's primed. But, um, there you guys have it. There is our last versus for a while. So, thank you for joining me, guys. And I will see you guys in the next video.